Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. And welcome to part two of the haul that yes. we just got done doing. I have not And moved. you guys saw two days ago. <laughs> yes. So we're in the exact same clothes. We're in the exact same spot. I have the exact same pile of clothes we in my lap. We turned the camera off, said goodbye, turned, reverse order, and then turned it right back on. Turned it off. Ryan threatened me and told me I had to show him what my designer finds were. He did not. I said no. He has to react with you guys. And we're here now. <laughs> so we are just gonna jump right back into the hall. This is definitely not gonna be three parts. Don't worry, I'm not gonna suddenly no. be like, oh, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> There's another no. One. no, this is it. Let's jump right into it. If you missed part one, that went up, like I said, on Tuesday. So you can check out our channel and watch that if you'd like to. Or else, let's just jump into it. Let's stick around. And I'll go because Ryan just ended I just went, the yes. second part. Or the first part. So this is so cute. This is Torrid mm -hmm. and it is size two. And it's a really cute graphic tee, and it says current mood, and it's a taco and tequila. And a tequila shot. I literally, like, I That's love so this. Funny. I was so, I saw it, and I was like, oh, this is going to be, like, Mighty Fine, or, like, what's the other one? Grace and Threads or something. But, like, then it was Torrid. And, like, and you're like, thank you. This is then, super cute. This is so cute. I feel this like is so sister something. <gasps> is going to call you and just say, give me the sweatshirt. This is so something that Ryan's sister would totally wear. It's a big sky farm. Yeah, farm seeds. So it's, I mean, who knows if it's real. I don't know. But it is by J. Crew, size medium. <laughs> no. But it's really cute. I love it. Is it. Really cute. I thought it was like one of those state park kind of sweatshirts. She would have taken that before you it's left the bin. still cute either way. Another cute J. Crew. This is super This cute. is really good for the holiday that shall not be named until November 1st. This is a J. Crew size small. And yeah, it's like the good old buffalo check with some like sequins. That is super cute though. Like yeah. that'd be a really fun Christmas photo that's, picture. That's the one that shall not be named. Christmas. Too early. I'm done. <laughs> Up next is a piece by Splendid, which I don't pick up very often, but this is really cute. This is, cute. This is a size medium and it's like a watermelon thermal. Does Debbie own this? I don't know, does she? I can vaguely remember her being in something that looks very similar to this. Let's Next up is one of my designer finds. I don't know where the other one is. It's somewhere in there. What this is, is it? a really cute purple tee, and it is by Rag and Bone. Oh, cute. Size small, but I love this like dusty lavender purple. It looks like- oh, There's no holes in it, good. No, um, but it feels like, it must be like a cottony linen. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a really like light. It'd be like, very I'm, comfortable. I was gonna say a shirt you could sleep in oh. and then just get up the next morning. This is all it says, quality guaranteed. Okay. So I don't really know what it is, but <laughs> I mean, it's very light and it is nice. Very um, high quality. Next is another, well, I guess not another because I'm still thinking of the first part of this. Um, the first for this video, new Athleta label. Yes. Size small, but I did find another newer Athleta item in the last part. And this is just like a cute like cap sleeve top, a little bit more basic, so it's not gonna be able to flip as well or for as much, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so this is my one project that came out of the bins. And I told myself when I started school that I'm not going to just get things that are projects, but this one is definitely worth it. So last week, last haul, whenever it was, Jack found a gunny sex dress that was the quintessential, the floral with the real cute puffy shoulders and all the lace embellishments. Mine is not that nice, but I still love it. So I did find a just come to talk for Gunny Sacks. Oh, isn't it her company? Yes. So I don't know why it's why for. It's for? Good question. Oh, um, maybe it's a because it's a collab of her main line with one of her other with ones. With Gunny Sacks, yes. because this is more her main line is like bridal. Is like this. Yeah. So I found a bridesmaid's dress. It does. She did kind of go buck wild at that wedding. <laughs> She done spilled. She spilt just a little bit. So we she are gonna- She did fall over. She had one too many um, bride mosas and dropped the spaghetti dinner all over her lap. Too many but tacos and tequila. But that is okay. I am going to weigh my options and send it to the dry cleaners. Or I did purchase two of the in-home dry cleaner kits. So I'm gonna try and like do that. And then if that doesn't work, I'll send it to the actual dry cleaner. We'll figure something out. Another vintage t-shirt. So this one's a youth large. This could definitely fit a women's like small medium. Um, and it's this guy. Someone. World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. WOWWCW Goldberg. These self are a ton. He like is either dead or a popular wrestler. 
because one of them was on eBay for $700. One of them was on eBay for $190. One of them was on Poshmark for like $150. I don't pretend to understand. I don't know. But I do know that I probably found a $125 children's season, which I'm very excited about. Then I found a, another little bread and butter piece. This is an Under Armour women's little like short sleeve, like running top. There's a little Under Armour doodad. Uh, this one is a size small. And if this doesn't sell, my... It is cute. It is really cute. I think it'll do good, like, going into fall. My consignment stores love the Under Armour. The Plato's Closet especially. The Midwest loves Under Armour. Big fan. <laughs> Did you know that the guy that founded Under Armour based it off of Victoria's Secret Lingerie? Did you know that? Interesting. It's that material. Don't ask me how I know that. Then this I don't is... even understand that. <laughs> this is most likely going to the consignment store, too. If it was my mom's size, it would go to her. This is a J. Crew Extra Small. This is a really cute little floral tank top. Super cute. cute. I, I know. Like I like colors. the I like the pattern. Then I found this is also going to the consignment store because they are in need of coats. And I found a coat. This is a down London fog, lightweight, packable down in a size medium. And it's one of those really nice trendy knee length coats as well. Oh yeah, they'll take that. Yeah, and London fog, I think like retail is pretty expensive. From my trips I to like anything down. Really yeah, my trips to Dillard's with my grandma. Like these are probably 180, 200 bucks new. Next up for me is this Madewell, and it's a size extra small. And this is a really cute like rust button front mini dress. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, it's like textured and stretchy, and I love that the buttons go all the way down. It's not just like a half or something like it's that. It's so cute. This okay. Is this designer? I love or is this. this no. Vintage? So it's J Crew, mm -hmm. and that's absolutely not why I bought it. <laughs> It is vintage J. Crew, and it's amazing. Like, I love it. You're kidding me. Oh, that's this so cute. This is so, like, so, like, 70s or, like... It's adorable. It's so something, like, Y2K. Like, when I oh, list absolutely. this, I just feel like this is going to list, or it's going to sell so fast. It's, like, it's so SpongeBob cute. flowers. They are, like, SpongeBob It's, like, flowers. the micro cardigan type trend. But, yeah, it's, like, a size small, real old J. Crew wool blend. But I was, like... I would not have cared what no. brand. That is so cute. There's it's another normal. sweater. It's probably gonna be the last thing I show you guys because I think it's at the bottom. And it's like the best vintage sweater ever. I'm like, so excited. It's so cute and I'm gonna list it very high. Oh, cute. This is amazing. This is so cute. baby Bowden. Not just Aww. mini Bowden. Baby. baby. A baby. Baby Bowden. A baby. And it's a 18 to 24 month. And it's literally like a little pink bubblegum like sherbet. Can you imagine so some cute. like little homegirl walking around in this? She's two she years old. She would own the world. Strutting her like, stuff what? in this little pink coat. This is so Can you imagine cute. her having a belt out in this pink coat? <laughs> Just throwing a tantrum. She's like, I want the toy train. Is this <laughs> glamorous? Obviously not for the parents, but for the rest of us. <laughs> then this is the new J. Crew label. This is a size medium. And I'm just going to give this a shot or else I will consign it. But it is like a it puff. It's puff shoulder. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't puff shoulder. I would definitely consign it. Mm -hmm. And it's also ribbed, which we all know at this point has been in for like a good year. Yes, it has. So, I don't know. We'll see. Since it's new label, since it's puff sleeve, and since it's ribbed, I was like, I guess. Okay. We'll have to try it. This is funky. This is a jacket. So I think we can all guess who made this. Free People? Yes. Is it my size? So this is Free People. I think it's older, but I don't know. So I can it's see like, this being not it old It needs to be all. washed. It's like raw sweatshirt, raw sweater it's material. It's raw seamed. And then knit, like, put, like wide sleeve I love knit. these sleeves. They're so soft. And it is metal tab, but I still just feel like it's older. It's a size small. Definitely like an oversized small. Mm -hmm. But Because it's three people. Yeah. Three people. I don't know. It's, it's cute so though. Cute. For being, if it is older, it's a, mm, quite a cute, like older one. I absolutely love it. So, my last couple of fingers. Fun little, of, not vintage, just graphic t shirt. Pac Man. Love. This one is a size medium. Nice. If I was in high school, you would have died. I would have like, been like, give me that. <laughs> so, this is definitely going to Plato's Closet. Forever 21. 
I like to pick out Forever 21 and Shein if it's cute like this one and in decent condition. Nice little burgundy. I think when you buy velour, Forever 21 new, it's not in good condition. It's in bad condition. condition. <laughs> but I like this. It's very like, I'm gonna go to the club even though I don't think any of the clubs are open. This is also going to the consignment store. Chaser, size, right. extra, extra large. This freaking these. chaser. But like, I like that it's plus size. They definitely love and are really less picky with plus size stuff. And it's cute too. So they'll probably mark it up a little bit. How many times, let's money. have a competition in the comments. How many times have you think you've seen that chaser before? So I'd many. say a good like eight so to many. 10 at Probably least. every single time I go through the thing, mm -hmm. I find one. Um, this is for me. Just a nice men's Lululemon shirt. Mm. It's definitely like been worn and has bleach stains all over it, but like I can paint in it or I can get it all nasty. And that's not gonna, and it's new too. I love that venting on the back too. I know. I love it's when stuff comfortable. has comfortable. So oh, I'm gonna wash like the whole back. Yeah. I'm gonna wash this. Um, oh wait, what does the inside say? Get outside, get sweaty. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Time to get dirty. Okay. <laughs> and the shirt said, I did. Literally. And am. Um, this I am gonna sell because I love this. So this is an Angie, which is just a bohemian, a bohemian, a boutique um, brand. Angie. Angie, my woman. For all of my 90 Day Fiance fans. Super cute, super fun, floral kimono. I don't know if kimonos are so popular. I know with all the teachers I work I with, they, they very much are. And this one's so cute Kimonos too. are one of those things where I don't think they ever like go, go out like of style. out out of style. Cause people wear them. Yeah. This is going to the consignment store. This is J. Jill Wherever Collection. Uh, size large. Regular J. Jill. Nice, just little fall top. And my consignment store, the demographic, is definitely that that loves J. Jill. It's very like Ryan's consignment store. It's very Ryan. Like I of, own like, the consignment say, store. You, have, you, you declare a lot of possession over this consignment store. You're always like, the one that I go to, mine. You're not like <laughs> ours or the one that we go the to. The one that I go to, the one that we go to. You're like, mine. mine. Then I found these to also go to my consignment store, my Plato's Closet. Nice little halves and halves shorts. And these are, can you guess, Shein. Mm. Yay. Uh, Shein, size medium. <sighs> Can't stand the brand. Evil, but like, they're cute. And the consignment stores love them. Like Plato's Closets, you definitely don't make a ton of money, but people are too nervous to buy the Shein on the Shein website because they're like, it's not going to fit me. So if they can, and they're awful. A lot of people don't buy Shein from Shein because <laughs> you should. The company ethics is just slavery. So it's then, just bad. then people do buy it from like Plato's Closets or consignment, like consignment stores, stores because like it's you're, cheap. you're giving it more of a life. And I it, always yeah. try to save like the Shein, the Zara. Zara. The, the Zara. The Forever 21 stuff because like, oh, that's so sad that some poor kid in some awful foreign country made that for free. Grabs his watermelon blanket and says, those poor kids. Those poor babies. So this is actually stunning. This is a, a vintage 1970s. And when I was a kid and I was homesick, I would literally just run my fingers along this polyester because it calmed me down all the time. So this is a very familiar feeling for me. Um, really nice felt or wool blanket. I love it. I love the colors. And I love this. This nice polyester <laughs> Oh, it reminds me of when I was a kid. And then is there a th is there a thought behind is there a thought no, behind those eyes? No, there's not. No, like what do you, you want to tell the people what you're gonna do with it? What's oh, I'm gonna it, sell it for you to just massage every day. <laughs> <I can't laughs> you just really were I like this is just a blanket. Take it and like rub and my done. fingers on it. I like I'd rub my face on it because it always used to calm me down. <laughs> do you ever realize how weird you did? But I love that you're just like this is a blanket. <laughs> how that, weird. It's really pretty how weird something is until you have to like can you tell how red I am until you have to like tell, tell someone about somebody it somebody so you, you did something and it's not even bad like it's not weird when you just rub my fingers and my face on this nice soft polyester I really read the face. No, I apologize. So this next thing is a baby blanket, and I couldn't leave this behind. <laughs> Not because uh, I'm gonna rub my fingers on another this. Another trigger. It's because I think it's adorable. Um, so the back does need to be re-stitched on the one side, but how stinking beautiful is this? It's all handmade. I have no idea as to what age, but like old. And all of these little animals are hand, not cross stitch, what's that called? Embroidery, they're embroidered on. And then they were sewn on. Like some little grandma back in the day put so much effort into all these cute little animals. And they are just the cutest little thing. Like I can't even handle it. And I could not let some part of Meemaw's work just go to the dump. But like how cute would this be hanging up in a nursery? That'd be adorable. 
If you put it on a rack. Anyway, I couldn't leave. I'm gonna rub my pockets. Back to the sanities. <laughs> <laughs> rub my pockets. So, next up for me, this is a very Janet top. Very Janet I top. think we've given this This is Bowden, and weirdly enough, there is not a size to be found. It just says Bowden, made in China. <laughs> so, I think it's like a small... I, I literally just don't understand why there's not a size. Like, why? Where'd like, it, it looks like they never even put one in. They're like... Put it on. Where'd it go? I don't know. This is really cute. This it's is a tiny. little like it's yeah, cute. a little Nike sports bra. The nice like athletic, stretchy material. This is an extra small, if you couldn't tell, because it looks like it's an extra mini. small. But I like this color too. I don't mm -hmm. know. I like, kind of like indigo blue. Then this is my other design to find. This is, is a cute orange tee, and this is by All Saints. And it is a size US 8, so it's women's. And Medium. it's a very vibrant orange, even more than like the video How is kind nice. of like showing up. Just be the pumpkin patch. Yeah, I know. It's That'd really cute. Really, I really, really like cute. the color of it. Mm -hmm. very, and I feel like I'd never find All Saints. Very rich lady Halloween. You found that one bag. Oh, well, that I mean, one I, time. Yeah. That was so. Stunning. So this is really interesting to me. I was like, what is this? It looks like that's Apre Ski or whatever. Or no, that's that's a saying on a t-shirt. What is that ski brand? There's like some ski brand. They make really weird uh, polos. Alpine. Alpine something. I don't know. I literally was like, oh, that's what this is. But then I read the label. And first off, it's a US 10. So it's women's. At first, I thought it was a men's. Like a large. A women's okay. 10. And it says, slim fit, Tom jewel clothing, clothes for horsemen. I was it's like, equestrian. I was like, what? There's a lot. What is this? So then I was Googling it and literally as typing it in, it like clicked to my head. I was like, his last name's Jewel. Is this Jewels? And sure enough, <laughs> on the back, it's Jewels. Like it's the brand Jewels, which again, Janet, right literally. up there. But these are like actually like really rare jewel equestrian like polos. Huh. Oh, which I didn't even know they made. I didn't know they made horse So, like, the only one I saw on Posh was, like, $90. And Jules, like, low-key doesn't keep its, its value that well. And no. it's also, like, not that expensive. Kind no. Of. But it has all these fun buttons that, like, don't match. That is really fun. And, like, yeah, all this Tom Jewel elephant polo. Okay. I guess that was a really good find that I just, like, didn't realize I had. I did not I did know Jules was English, but I didn't think that many English people liked horses that much. I don't know. I don't know. English people? Next up people. is my one free people from today, and it's a really good one, actually. So it's metal tag free people size small, and it's very witchy core. This is so cute. Look these at how big these sleeves are. are puffed. Oh, They look like Zachary Binks. Witchy this was core. Right. And then it's like eyelets embroidered and rivets all over. Like you can really tell right here where you can see through mm -hmm. kind of that it's like it's really so cute. cute. You wouldn't. Yeah, you'd. Mm. Well, yeah, you'd want to wear. Well, yeah. I guess you could maybe have like a black sports bra or something under it. Yeah, before. wear a little something something. Yeah. Next, oh, I saw this and I was like, I hope that's Ralph Lauren. And it was, which is amazing. Anything Ralph it. Lauren with like these colors. The like. Oh, more... and it's a dress. Yes, <gasps> and it's a knit sweater dress. That is cute. Oh, it doesn't matter what line, whether it be polo or like blue or black label or if it's cha if it's old chaps that's fine too mm -hmm. if it's denim and supply if it's like the western color palette or western print or tribal print does so good pick it up i have sold a loren ralph loren which usually i do not pick up anything from this label i sold like a poncho with like tribal print on it for like 250 dollars which was crazy whoa so I think that this will do really good. It's definitely from that line of like Western. The Western things, yes. So I was so pumped to find that. It's and it's so a size cute. extra small. Then this I learned from Ryan, which I feel like is not often said. Is this what I think it is? It's carbon to cobalt. Oh, hey, I just talked good, about that. Right? Yeah, it's a men's brand. Yeah. So I found this and I was like, this sounds that. really familiar from a video that I was in. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world. And so it's a size large and it's actually really cool. Yeah, I love, I love this their stuff. like this like chunky knit that's like it's almost like a burnout chunky It's like knit. lavender kind of. Yeah. It's pretty. And it's like darker kinda on the inside and lighter on the like more exterior knits. I like this. It's nice. But yeah, then I was Googling it and I think their sweaters retail at like one fifty. Yeah, definitely easy you know, thirty five, forty bucks. Yeah. So Green bread and butter men's brand. Yes. 
Then I have this three more things. And the last one is that sweater that I was talking about. So this is just BB Dakota, size medium. Mm -hmm. But this was one that was sold at Revolve. Oh, and I feel so like cute. a lot of things are sequin just do good. Like People always need a sequin dress to go somewhere. Like for like a say something. So if I just like list this not like crazy high. 35, 40 I bucks. think it'll do okay. And it since good. it was like on Revolve, that was a bonus too. So this I picked up actually yesterday. I know, who is she? I found something by this. And Ryan and I made like the executive decision, which doesn't mean on your own. So we made the co-op decision. I don't know, that I shouldn't get it. But then today I found another one and I like this one a lot more. Oh yeah. So this is Jessica McClintock whatever, which we have now heard her name how many times in the past two weeks so from many. this channel? So many times. So this is her like main line, I guess, where she would make like prom and event dresses. Yes. From the 80s and 70s. But this one I think is really This one's cute. really pretty. I get and a very a size, big Phoebe Buffet. It's a size 12 too. Mm -hmm. But it's like fully like encrusted, embellished, like floral. And that's all mm. the way throughout the whole thing. These stitches are beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was beaded. I thought it was seed beads. Yeah. It's stitches. And it's like maxi length. It's strapless. This would be really And like on. I said, since it's size 12, I think that's great too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, her main line stuff does not do as good as like gunny sacks. No, definitely But not. like, I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see. People still like the Jessica McClintock stuff because they know how it fits. Everyone ready to see an amazing vintage sweater oh, that I'm Lord. obsessed with. It's so cute and it's gonna do so good. And if I had a Depop, it would do so good. But I hate Depop. It is this like taxi looking sweater. That's this so is cute. so cool. Oh, that's adorable. This looks like something that like Shein would steal from someone. Oh, they probably already have. This is, so, I love the little argyle. It's literally like, like, like it. taxi. That is so cute. Jodie Foster and Taxi. One of my favorite oh, movies of all time. This is so cute. Like this is something I could picture like Fran Drescher wearing in the nanny or something. Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> I love this. But, it's yeah. so cute. It's uh, very, it is very like Moschino. Yes. When they did the traffic is. stop runway. Yes. So like it has like the trim is the black and white and then it has the extra section of black and white checker. It do be pretty the though. The neck is you can button it up and the buttons are square and it has very like thin shoulder pads. I was, so I got cute. like so excited about this and I do not get excited about vintage very often. It's by Cricket Lane. It's so cute. And it's a large, a vintage large. I which, love I mean, this. actually, I think that's- I would fitting. call that a large. So I'm really excited Love. <laughs> that is adorable. It looks like we actually almost cut the video in half like, <sighs> perfectly Okay, good. So I didn't middle. bore everybody for too long. Thank yes. You. So Ryan's gonna go rub his blanket, trim, edge, whatever. I might end up keeping it. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Need to get it made into a coat? No, no. I know Aaron has started making those in no, coats. No. I'm going to be like, put the polyester trim on the end of the sleeve. So we are going to leave you guys now for the day. But if you miss us, we will see you tomorrow on the second channel. And actually, Debbie will be there too. So if you want to see us <gasps> again tomorrow, be there. you can check out the second channel. We're going to have some fun and look at pumpkins. Dangerous, dirty little Debbie. She's the safest human being I've ever been in my <laughs> And then if you have no interest in pumpkins, that's okay too. We will see you on Saturday for what's on Saturday. And I can't really judge how well this week is going yet, so I'm not gonna say anything. Average. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is good. So once I get this listed, hopefully a little bit better. Yes. Let us know what was your favorite thing from each of us that we found. I always love to read those and see if you guys kind of like agree with us or if like something was a lot better than like we thought it was. That's always interesting too. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys when we see you next. Goodbye. Goodbye.